Alright, hi everyone. I'm going to talk to you today about Wiscott Elrich syndrome. And what this is, is a um, rare uh, genetic disorder that affects the immune system. Alright, um, so um, in this condition, um, which is a um, autosomal, re- uh, sorry, X-linked recessive gene uh, disorder, and it tends to affect mainly males, predominantly. So just to recap, X-linked gene. Um, so imagine this the x link um, the, the X chromosomes that you have um, and there's the short arm and the long arm so in that, that there will be in females with the two X chromosomes and in males there will be two there will be one X and one Y um, the fact that it, it being recessive uh, means that it needs both copies of the um, of this um, gene to manifest itself um, clinically. So you can imagine that in females, um, having two um, uh, recessive copies is, is a lot rarer than for males who only require one copy of this to manifest the symptoms. And this con- um, gene mutation is found on the X chromosome like I mentioned before, and it's on the small arm of the X chromosome. So that's P, um, in particular, the um, 11, um, 23 position. Okay. Um, so with this, uh, gene mutation, what happens is that this gene tends to normally be expressed more in the hematopoietic, hematopoietic cells. And these are the cells that originate from, uh, your bone marrow. So, um, you know, from the iliac crest, uh, from the sternum, um, and and this these are generally the areas that um that have bone marrow in it to produce the hematopoietic cells, the blood cells. And what this gene does, uh, this basically it polymerizes, so that means um it can connect, um uh, this actin, uh, monomers together. And, uh, recall that um. Uh, actin is one of the proteins um, uh, that is involved in uh, that, that is involved in formation of the cytoskeleton, and it causes um, cytoskeleton uh, re- rearrangements in the cell. So that gives the cell uh, its various structures, and it's also involved in signaling as well. Uh, and that is important, especially in like I mentioned before, the signaling pathway. In particular, um, when immunological synapse form. So remember when um, the, the T cells and the B cells get activated by the antigen presenting cells, they form this immunological synapse. Um, and in this condition, what happens is this does not occur because the gene is defective. Genetic defect. So you can imagine that when this uh, pathway does not occur, uh, it can lead to uh, an impaired adaptive immune system, right? Which makes sense. Immune system. Okay. And in addition to that, uh, this condition usually also ha- um, results in defective platelet production. Platelets are... Uh, um, um, can be malformed and they, they may not um, be doing its job and hence the spleen removes it okay so the spleen removes these defective platelets and as you can imagine from from these two facts alone that i just told you um, your platelet count would be low and we call that thrombocytopenia low platelet counts and it could also have um, if you're more predisposed to infections as well, because your immune system 
uh, one part of it is not working, predisposed to infections, which makes sense. Okay, so in this condition, I, I already told you um, the two um, key issues here, and um, therefore, this in this condition, there's a triad that you have to know, and it's given, uh, and there's a mnemonic for it. So, the mnemonic is water, and water, so the, the first W stands for Wiscott, the A stands for Elrich, T stands for thrombocytopenia, as we mentioned before, and E stands for eczema, and it can be severe, um, and also recurrent infections, recurrent infections, okay? There's some mnemonics out there which with waiter, and the I basically just stands for increase in um, IgA and IgE levels, but there will be a decrease in IgM. So uh, there's also mnemonics out there that, that mention, you know, IgM is the inverse, it looks inverted as compared to the W. So instead of it increasing, uh, it looks like it's being decreased. So you can remember there's a decrease in IgM from that way as well. So, I mean, linking back to everything, IgM is uh, decrease, um, could also lead to, um, you know, recurrent infection because you're getting a lot more production of a, um, certain uh, immunoglobulins, but you get decreased pro um, levels relatively. So recurrent infections, it, it makes sense. Eczema, because you have uh, increased IgE, and remember that's linked to um, um, allergic reactions as well as um, parasitic infections. Thrombocytopenia, like I mentioned before, because the spleen removes it. Okay, and with this thrombocytopenia, um, we call this ITP, which stands for immune or idiopathic. Idiopathic just means that we do not know why. Um, thrombocytopenia. Okay, um, so there are certain issues with this um, thrombocytopenia and I'll, I'll explain um, what, what could happen clinically. Um, all right, so with, with um, ITP, what happens is um, there's an increase, increased tendency to bleed because um, for some reason, um, the, um, when you have lower platelet um, count, you are more, you are less likely to um, form a hemostatic plug. And remember, when when you cut yourself, accident by accident, um, the 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 blood will will stop um, flowing out after a while, and that's due to the hemostatic plug. So you can imagine in these patients, they have an increased tendency to bleed, and that is seen um, clinically as petechiae or purpura and petechiae is defined as you know pinprick um, um, purple um, spots on the skin uh, and that's due to um, bleeding from the microvasculature and purpura um, they, are, they are larger and um, they, they look purple um, and that's also due to increased risk of bleeding I'll explain these two terms in a separate video. Um, as a result of the increased tendency to bleed, um, they can get nosebleeds, uh, bleeding in the stool, and we call that um, melina. And we can also get um, a menorrhagia. So females um, tend to get um, heavier uh, periods. Heavy periods. Okay? Um, and with this recurrent infections they could get uh, ear infections chest infections and and other associated conditions too okay um just with this eczema it can tend to be uh, a, a it can it can be superimposed um if it's chronic um and that it could be due to a secondary bacterial infection. So say with a staph infection um, as well. And chest infections um, you tend to involve certain bacteria 
uh, like Haemophilus and also um, other bacteria um, for example um, um, Neisseria as well okay um, and also um, opportunistic, opportunistic infections mm. so now we have covered the um, pathophysiology of this condition we have also covered the symptoms the main symptoms um, to diagnose this condition just to summarize basically Warwick uh, Wiscott Elrich syndrome is a um, X-Ling recessive disorder so it's X-Ling recessive disorder um, that tends to affect the males it's found on the X chromosome uh, in particular the 1123 position on the short arm uh, basically what this gene does is expresses mainly in the hematopoietic cells um, which are from the uh, which means cells that come from the bone marrow that they are made in the bone marrow um, so what this gene does it basically when it's expressed it produces a, a protein that polymerizes the actin and it's involved in the signaling pathway especially in formation of the immunosynapse immunological synapse uh, for antigen presenting cells to present the, the antigen to the T cells on the MHC molecule and uh, that could lead to activation of the um, um, adaptive immune system but if this does not occur when there's a genetic defect um, that, that could lead to impaired Im adaptive immune system which makes patients more predisposed to infections um, in addition to that there's a defective platelet production and that causes the spleen to remove it leading to decreased platelet levels thrombocytopenia uh, they're more likely to have nosebleeds melina menorrhagia heavy periods um, close this bracket up um, and they also have a uh, uh, like tendency to bleed um, a purpura pinpoint um, dots on the skin as, uh, that's called petechiae and also purpura um, and they could develop ITP which is uh, immune or idiopathic thrombocytopenia um, and that's when the immune system um, targets the platelet cells and remove them uh, causing thrombocytopenia so we also talk about the triad the uh, thrombocytopenia the eczema which is which can be severe uh, and chronic recurrent infections as well especially ear chest infections and certain bacterial uh, and other opportunistic infections like um, candida could also affect it as well uh, it's quite distinctive that uh, there's an increase uh, levels of IgA and IgE if you do um, serology but there will be a characteristic decrease in IgM levels um, you will want to do uh, it is predominantly a clinical diagnosis so based on what you have examined you know rec um, eczema the uh, increased bleeding and also the increased um, increased likelihood of um, of uh, infections as well so these are all very suggestive of this condition in addition you could also confirm this by doing a peripheral blood smear um, to look for the um, uh, you know to, to look at the number of um, platelets and also uh, you might see increased neutrophil as well um, but you would uh, when, when you do um, serologies you could find that, that uh, you could find that there's um, like I said before there's a decreased level of IgM but increased levels of IgE and also increased levels of IgA okay um, so that's quite typical of this condition uh, and you could also do a uh, lab uh, or a full blood count uh, and you see thrombocytopenia being present and that is generally about you know um, 2 times 10 to the power of um, 5 to about 5 times 10 to the power of 5 um, yep in general and you can also do a genetic sequence to confirm the diagnosis and you'll be looking for the WAS gene which I mentioned before was on the X chromosome um, in terms of treatments for these patients they are basically given um, antibiotics 
to manage the recurrent infect infections. Um, they are also given IVIG. Basically, that is a um, uh, 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 it gives them passive immunity. Um, so what this is about is basically they they gather um uh, immunoglobulins from um from healthy um uh, donors, and they they concentrate it and they infuse it into um these patients to give them some form of passive Im immunity against the recurrent infections. Um, and the only real treatment or cure, per se, is the hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Um, basically, you are replacing the uh, hem hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow, um, which has this defect. Remember, we, we are now um, trying to replace the cells with the genetic mutation and that would result in a cure. Now, there are certain complications associated with WAS that we should be concerned about. Um, with the recurrent infections and also bleeding risk, there's an increased chance of death, which, is, uh, re which re uh, results in reduced life expectancy. There's also uh, complications that could involve autoimmune disease. They have a higher predisposition to acquire autoimmune diseases. They could also uh, develop malignancies. And we'll talk about this more in detail under the um, leukemia lecture, but just bear this in mind. Um, they are more likely to get lymphomas and also leukemias. So under one of the genetic causes of uh, leukemias, uh, WAS could uh, is one of the risk factors and it's usually fatal <clears throat> and like I mentioned before the recurrent infections and bleeding risk um, are a key contributor to death um, and also the chronic eczema um, could also lead to a, a super infection like I mentioned before a bacterial infection with, with a bacterial infection yep so that basically sums up what um I'm going to what uh, what I'm going to discuss today. Uh, <coughs> uh, in terms of diagnosis wise, it's predominantly clinical. So we would see the T, E, and R. So E, um, E, uh, and the thrombocytopenia, and also recurrent infection. Okay, um, we also do um, peripheral blood smear, uh, serologies, and um, you no know, consider other immunodeficiencies like. Um, combined variable immunodeficiency, CVID, um, and other immunological um, and also platelet disorders as well. Uh, when you do a flu blood count, they typically have a thrombocytopenia within this range of 2 to 5 times 10 to the power of 5 um, cells. <coughs> uh, you could also do a genetic sequencing to confirm and look for the WAS gene. Treatment-wise, you use antibiotics to fight off the recurrent infections. Um, also IVIG to give them passive immunity because they're already um, somewhat immunocompromised. Uh, a cure would be only through hematopoietic stem cells um, transplant, basically to replace cells with genetic mutations. And I'll talk more about it in a subsequent lecture. Complications wise, basically they have a uh, decreased life expectancy, either due to the recurrent infection, bleeding, chronic eczema, from super infection, they could also develop autoimmune diseases, malignancies, uh, lymphoma, and leukemias, which are usually fatal. So that sums it up, and thank you for your attention. Um, I'm so sorry.